Welcome everybody to Medicine Creek here with uh, Farming Simulator 19 of course. Folks we're on a new map called Medicine Creek and uh, I'll go through the details here in a little bit but I'm trying to figure out um, which way to take and I'm right here you can't see me but I guess it looks like I need to take this road here all the way down to the second intersection on the right. All right let's go for it. But anyway, I'm your host with not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, how y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Uh, I'm hoping y'all are going to enjoy this. Um gonna be a new series and just messing creek maps been out for a while and just give you a rundown uh, you can see there on the left and where it says my name there Tommy uh, diesel that's a uh, 2408 liters which is 637 gallons of uh, oh, about to stay on the road. stay low Oh yeah, I forgot I can't drive too fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I got to take it slow. I don't know what's happened to this truck. I hit a couple of potholes. I think something's wrong with the front end. That or this trailer, all the diesels on the front or something. I don't know. I know I get too fast. It starts doing that. As you can see in the top right corner, I'm down to eight hundred and seventy-eight dollars and six hundred and fifty-two. <sighs> Folks, that's just I had one million five hundred and seven thousand five hundred and sixty-four dollars. I think this road's busy. Um that this I had to pay a toll fee, plus me having diesel behind me. Oh, it is just unreal, folks. I came a long ways. I've been driving for about 18 hours, pretty much straight. I only had a few breaks. I'm tired and I'm wore out. So, um, yeah, but that's why my money's down so low. Is oh, I had to buy a tire too for the trailer. It, something hit it and blew out and it is it's, it's unreal folks it's I hope it's worth the the drive over here and move um, can't wait to see my uncle and, and stuff and get started with this new farm life but uh yeah I will see y'all in a bit okay be right back when I get to the farm and it looks like my sway bar arm about to break. That's probably why it's not driving so well. Folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I dropped my diesel tank over here on the side of the building. It's right there. And uh, I've done, look, all, there's lights on in the house, but nobody's home. I knocked and knocked and knocked. Front door, back door, nothing. Nothing at all. Now, I did find this truck here. I guess it's my Uncle James's truck. Uh, him and Aunt Betty went on vacation and uh, are going on vacation, I should say. But uh, I wonder if they already left. He's got some cows over here. Let's run over here real quick. Look at the cows. Man, I can't. I got some good water. There's one of them. I don't want to get out in the rain too much. I'm already soaking wet. I'm unhooking the trailer. Got a nice little Massey Ferguson there. Um. I see another one right over there. I'm gonna walk up here. Can I get out through here? 
There they are. Did my uncle leave the gate open? I don't know. I got hung on something. There we go. I'm sure my uncle wouldn't leave the gate open. That means he's got to be here. Is he out in a pasture somewhere? I close this just in case. I tried to give him a call. Can't get a hold of him. Phone says not available at the moment. Oh, I'm getting wet. Gotta get back in here. Let's see if he left a. I didn't see no note on the doors or nothing. Wait a minute. There, there is something in here. All right. Uh, I'm popped a note up here so y'all can see it. But it says, "Dear nephew, I'm so terribly sorry that I left before meeting you." What the heck? He done left already? Please take a moment to look around the farm and get to know all the tractors and equipment and also check out the cows I got this year. Oh, he just got them. Okay. Uh, as, as you may see, you're going to find some new green paint on the farm. Also, before I forget, go to the market shop. I have some things up there waiting on you to pick up for the farm. Once you get all that picked up, you might want to check on the check out the grass. If it's already putting words in, if it's ready to mow, you need to make some grass, hay, and silage for the cows. Also, to keep you busy, you need to paint no, you need to plant the field up north with soybeans. Some of the fields may need fertilizer. You will find my fertilized rig at the co-op east of the farm. There is also a tractor up by field 60, I believe, that has... Uh oh lost my spot. Uh, I believe that has... Oh, has a mower hooked up to it. Also, hook the batwing mower and the shed to the forward tractor that has that is four wheel drive to help you mow the bigger parts. If you get free time, cut and clear the trees out of field 60. I know you would do well. Just treat the farm like it is yours or like it is your farm. Thank, thank you for letting us live our retirement. Wait, what? Live a retirement? All right, I, I don't forget where I was at, but I think I was at uh, in the letter there, I know you will do well. Just treat the farm like it is your farm. Thank you for letting us live our retirement. I mean dream vacation. I mean vacation. Take care and hopefully see you around one of these days. Folks, I don't know what to make of that. And I had a game pause. Ha! Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, as it's sincerely yours, Uncle James. Well, and by the way, it's pretty, oh, it's a stick, too. All right. But anyway, folks, let me get out of here. Whoa, up close to that grain truck. It says to look around, get the old equipment, make the farm like it's mine. Or treat it like it's mine. Okay, well, if, where am I going to stay? I can't sleep in this. I probably could sleep in that. Okay, I'm going to have to go see if I can find a key under a doormat or something. Oh, just wish this rain would stop. Alright. Um, he did leave me a a map of the farm, so that dang auto save gets me every time. Alright, according to what he put on my tablet and stuff, let's see if I can zoom in here. Okay, he owns field 1, 2, 13, 14, and 19, and 18. And he said something about field 60. Um, 
Right now, I'm looking at fertilization. These all need to be fertilized. Freshly 18. Um, 2, 13, 14 is ready for harvest. Field 18 has been plowed. Oh. Okay. That means there's nothing in 18. I guess that's where he's talking about soybeans. Did he say something there about soybeans? I think he did, didn't he? Yeah. Plant a field up north with soybeans. So this is up north. So we got to plant that in with soybeans. Uh, these are ready to be mowed. He also said something about field 60. Where is 60? Uh, oh, I'm on button. Oh, that's going in. Field 60. Uh, 60 right here. Oh, that's a pretty good size field. Looks like it's got some trees right there. Maybe that's what he's talking about. Um, see what kind of jobs. Uh, sewing, cultivating, transporting. Oh, we got some jobs to help make some money here because uh, he didn't leave us no money, folks. My uncle didn't leave us no money. Now, luckily, I, I got 878,652 left. Let's, let's go in here and see what the cows... Cows are looking... Let's see, we got 16 cows. Uh, I've got two males and... Oh, 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 get down there. Okay, we got four males. And the rest of them are females. A lot of hostings. Okay. Maybe he's trying to mate them. Uh, they got a little bit of hay or, or silage or something. And grass, alfalfa is good. It must be, this is uh, them feeding off the field probably. Total mixed rations. Wouldn't hurt to give them some uh, soybean straw. Hmm. Uh, let's look at our weather. Uh, and, and this is what got me. It's going to rain all day today, folks. Uh, and then, again, Friday about midday. Oh, it's going to be terrible weather. But uh, soybeans, I probably need to wait a day or two. Yeah. So I guess uh, I'm going to try to find a way in the house, folks. And... Uh, well, I'm already wet, so... You know what? He said treat it like mine. I'm gonna go get in his truck and ride around. Oh, wow. Can't even hear the thing run. Alright, let's ease out of here. I don't want to hit that trailer. I don't want to hit the bob truck. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, drive out here. We feel like I'm gonna tip over. What's this? Let's drive up in here. Yeah, we got more room right here. All right. And by the way, I love. The tires on this thing. Ha ha. Um, what do we got here? Total mix rations. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pallets. And over here, kind of thing is this? Oh, it's like what we had on our farm. Okay, so he, he lives them by ratchet straps. Okay. Boy, look at the skinny tires on this thing. What is this? Oh, I saw a... I got 4440. Cool. Oh, we got one green tractor. I just love this truck. Hmm. Alright, let's go see what else we got. 
We got some grain tanks over there. And we got our cows out there taking their bath in this awful rain. Oh, I hope it don't rain too much. I won't be able to plant for a couple of days. Right, I gotta find a four wheel drive tractor. And I saw a shed over there. We gotta go over there and uh, check it out. But, uh, yeah, there's no vehicle here. The only thing here is this truck. Now, they did have a uh, tie hole a long time ago. But, uh, look like we got a, a baler. I got a small baler. Two flat trailers. Uh, got a big auger and a small auger. And, uh, let's pull up in here and see what we got. Oh, here's another tractor. No, a green tractor. I wonder what other color, what the colors of the others are. Let's see, we got a case ripper. Three, four, five, five shank ripper. Okay. Not bad. And I got a 4840. Oh, this looks like a beast here. Uh, Case International Planner. Let's see. One, two, three. So that'd be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve row. Look like it's fertilized too. Oh, we got a, uh, like a seed drill here. Yep, okay, that's good. Um, cultivator. Whatever that name is. Okay. Uh, going up here and we have, uh, Sulky? Sulka? Sulky? Looks like a fertilized spreader. Alright, let's go on over to the other one. Uh, well, we got two more, so we'll make it real quick. Alright, I just found a set of keys. Yeah, that's a lot. Let's try, try this key here. Oh, okay. Got it, got it. Shut that behind us. Uh, oh, oh, red and red and blue. All right, we got uh, some dim, dim, a little. I can't even talk. Demco tanks. Uh, we got a seventy-two fifty case international, like seventy-two ten. Okay. Oh God. What happened here? Did we throw... Oh man, we gotta clean that up. Can't even tell what it is. Yeah, 8340 tuned. Okay, it must be the four-wheel drive he's talking about, because... Yeah, both, both of those are two-wheel drive. Yeah, two-wheel drive. That's one of the tractors we got in here. And this one must be, looks like a, I can't make it out. All right, let's me jump in the capsule and find something again. 8340 tune. Oh, so they're twins set for a full four drive. Then we have a Ken's 851 green cart. Oh, wow, that that's awesome. That, you want to? Bit. I don't know if that auger that combine going to fit or not. Uh, we got the header for it, grain header and a corn header. And this is a what is that, Case International Axle Flow 1660. I just don't know if that auger will fit over that. Oh well, my uncle knows more than what I do. More years of experience. All right, I'm gonna get and lock this back up. I'm gonna head over to that shop right there. All right, 
Um, there might be the coal arc down there. We'll have to figure that out in the next episode. I gotta do some looking around off camera. To get free familiarize myself with all this. Oh yeah, I see some well there's Batwing. There's uh I'm gonna have to name the cat I think I'm gonna name that in Betsy. Betsy the cow. Okay, it must be a place where you store grass and you get fragments into uh, what's it called? Uh, sullage. Pull up in here out of the rain. I guess I can pull up in here and shut this quiet thing off, save some fuel. Um, uh, I, okay, I can't fit through there. I'll go over here. We got a. What is this? Forty-one fifty-five. Looks like a rhino. Rhino forty-one fifty-five. We got a uh, tater, coon tater, and we got a coon wrapper. And whoa, uh, we got one of those. Uh, probably a coon windrow. Yep, it's got coon on it. So my uncle believes in coon. Okay, okay. Um. I wonder if that's where he wants a bale stored. Oh, that rain's cold. Yeah, I guess this thing's still in working shape. I don't know. Auger looks pretty good on it. I'll hook a tractor to the back, probably, and suck it up in there. Look, it looks pretty neat. What is that? New Holland. F62B. Hmm. Cool. All right. Um, I got 23 minutes. I'm not gonna make this too long. We're gonna go to the market shop real quick and see what he's got to pick up up there. And uh, I'll see you here in a second when we we'll get up there. All right. I just pulled in here at uh, Kylene, whatever it's called, dealership, and. We got a lot of equipment sitting around, but over here, I got uh, like a Massey Ferguson, a New Holland, a bunch of bale trailers, there's a Kenworth truck with a Big Tex trailer on the back, straw bales getting rained on, uh, I got some seeds and some fertilizer. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna drive on around. I'm gonna go over to the co-op and see what that is, and uh, then we'll end the episode, folks. So we'll be back in a second. All right, we're one of the trees done got in the way. Um, Farmers Co-op right here. We're pulling into. Um, got a little bit of everything out here. It looks like. the uh, mm, chicken coop maybe buy some chickens and stuff there that's what it looks like maybe we buy some straw bells and stuff up here they're open what is it uh Avondale something other farms a uh, chicken farm look like well, I don't think I need to go that way. Like that's where you sell the grain. And by the way, I love this truck. Uncle's got good taste in trucks. Um, what got milk tank? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What have we here? I, I bet you that's our trailer. And there's his uh, fertilizer rig. The only thing that's up here, really. Ah, right, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, folks. I hope y'all enjoyed this little short view of everything that we got to start with um, in the area. 
Let's see here. Let's check out what we got down through here. We got a roundup tank. Uh, what is that? That looks like. Uh, yeah, it's liquid fertilizer. Uh, seeds, lime, and probably dry fertilizer. And fuel. Okay, I want to drive around, see if I can find somebody to talk to. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going to get in here and see if I can find out something. Probably get that spur and stuff in that tank filled up with fertilizer or whatever. But uh, I want. I hope y'all enjoy this. It's going to try to be a new series. And if you're, you're probably going to see a lot of lag. And that's probably because it's raining. Because earlier... I was, you know, getting everything ready for the series. Uh, it wasn't that bad, but just to show y'all, look at the top right there. I'm going to get about 14 frames per second. And that was, see right there is 8 and 7. It was like 20, 10 to 15, and sometimes 20, but this rain hit. I, yeah, this is terrible. But anyway, I'm going to get in here and see what I can do. And I will see y'all in the next episode. And uh, folks, take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Stay safe in this time we're in. And uh, I love each and every one of y'all. And thank you for all your love, support, comments, likes, subscriptions, and stuff like that. Don't forget about the links down below. Um, yeah, so y'all have a great day. A blessed day. Hopefully a dry day. I'll see you next episode. Bye.